You and your computer probably found the best source and evidence of extraterrestrials back in the 1990s. Remember this? This is called SETI at home. The idea was to crowdsource searching for a signal, because at the time, SETI and universities had very limited computing power. Imagine if you could get everybody to search through data on their home computer. And today, Wiley and I have been told that 18 ET sources were found by you in the 1990s in a novel way. Let me explain. So what is SETI? Well, it's a search for extraterrestrial intelligence. But they had very narrow parameter. Drake and Sagan, who set SETI up, said it was impossible to look at every signal. So they narrowed the search down to the hydrogen band because they reckoned that aliens would know that we could see hydrogen vibrations and they could see it and they ignored the rest. The reason they ignored the rest is they didn't have the time and the computing power to look at signals everywhere. You have to understand that a telescope like Arecibo or Green Bank or other big telescopes all over the world can potentially get frequencies from the entire universe as that telescope passes the area of the sky as the Earth rotates. But there's no way you can analyze the data. And what would you be looking for? That's where SETI at Home came up with a brilliant idea. They could look at the wide band, big frequency recording, say from Arecibo, and get your home PC as a screensaver to look for the signal. But what signal? And that's where it all becomes very secret. If you actually search the results of SETI at Home, they say nothing was found. But that's not true. To get behind that secret and to reveal what was found, you have to look at two counterintuitive weird things. First of all, you have to understand open source architecture. And secondly, you have to understand Italian mathematics. So SETI at Home needed managing, and it was managed by Berkeley University using a wonderfully named system, Boink. And the guys that set up Boink wanted it to be open source. Anybody can access the data, and anybody can mess with the software. There was nothing hidden. They'd written a little algorithm that people could search at home for SETI's idea of what a signal could look like. But you in Transylvania or Italy or Basingstoke could get people using this screensaver software at home to do different searches. And that's why the US SETI organization say nothing was found. They looked in the wrong place. I didn't know this, and I've just been told that there are many alternative SETIs. SETI itself isn't one organization. And SETI Europe asked a very different question from the crowdsourced data. So let me explain the problem and let me tell you the solution. The main SETI program wanted to analyze the data and hear a bing 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 from an ET civilization sending out a message or using technology that could be picked up and absolutely correctly they found nothing but European SETI an alternative SETI asked a very different question and this is what they found. Imagine E.T. out there in the distant galaxy, a technological civilization, and it doesn't really want to transmit a signal, but it's using technology. How would you detect that? Well, the enormous problem is their signature is enormously tiny. It would be very hard to detect a distinct mechanical intelligent life force using a radio frequency locally on their planet or in their tiny solar system. You just wouldn't hear it. It would be lost 
in the noise. And noise was the answer. The Italians came up with a brilliant mathematical formula. But finding ET had two counterintuitive parts. First of all, SETI at home with this software thought they'd have a few hundred people running it as a screensaver that could look for conventional results. At its peak, they got nearly two million people. And that, in fact, was an enormous problem. Boink at Berkeley didn't have enough computing power or even enough data from Arecibo to send nearly two million people at SETI at home's peak individual data for them to analyze. So not to disappoint the home user, they sent maybe a few thousand bits of data to two million people. That meant that non-unique data was being processed by your screensaver, as well as Bob next door and Shirley down the road all with individual results. Set at home didn't want to disappoint people, but they missed an immense trick that actually discovered ET. SETI EU, and specifically a university in Italy, saw a fantastic opportunity. Because the same data was being processed by Bob and Shirley all over the two million user world, the subtle differences of what they were looking for, remember this is open source architecture software, could be used to find an incredibly small signal if one existed. And that's what they found. Italians could parse out of the big data because so much of it was repeated. The signal of ET. And here's what they did and what they found. Brilliant Italian mathematicians worked out that as the distant alien possible ET technology passed Arecibo or Earth, it would be like this, the Doppler effect of a siren passing you. We've all heard that pitch change as the siren approaches and the decrease in pitch as it goes away. That's called the Doppler effect. So rather than looking for, hello, I'm here, ET blasting out a big radio signal, what they did is took the two million PARS data from SETI home and looked for Doppler shift. If you could hear any signal that goes as the Earth rotated, it meant it was coming from one unique point source. It wasn't background noise. You would only get a Doppler shift from a single siren. If you had sirens everywhere, you would never hear that pitch increase and decrease. It would be lost. But the distinctive sound of the Doppler going up and then down, even if you couldn't hear the signal, would indicate a point source possibly of an ET with technological tools. That's what they did. By searching in a way that SETI US weren't looking at, the Italians found 18 Doppler shifts from unique point sources in our galaxy. Who are they? Where are they? And what are they saying? What happened next? changed human history. In my next film, I will tell you about the billions of euros that are being spent in 2024 to try and communicate with E.T. So if you had E.T. at home as your screensaver, it worked. Because of you, the truth was out there. <laughs>